Hello guys, welcome back. Now you might remember a few weeks back that I did a what I wore this week or what I wore in a week video in replace of one of my vlogs. Well, it's still kind of a vlog, it's just an outfit vlog. Well that's what I'm going to do again this week just because we've got so much stuff to do before we go away. So it's going to be a bit mental and I'm sorry there's probably not going to be much funny stuff in this, probably not a lot of Simon, but there is lots coming up, especially... <laughs> He's booing! <laughs> yeah, there's going to be lots of that to come, of course, during our road trip, so fret not, there's plenty to come, but there's lots of fashion in this video. So I'm going to start off, it's Monday, so this is Monday's outfit really like this outfit I was just putting it on upstairs and then I was like hmm I feel like I've got one of those really strong outfit days so what I have on is my new camel coat from and other stories it's the really really soft alpaca coat and it's beautiful it's got this belt as well um, now this comes up quite big I'm actually wearing this in a size 8 um, and it is plenty roomy inside uh, even though I've only got a thin knit underneath but it is uh, very very roomy and then underneath I have a navy and white very very thin knitted jumper this is the one from Zara it's the one from my huge Zara haul not long ago and then necklace wise I have on my usual Monica Vina de Mini Marie pendant on the medium Misoma bobble chain watch I have my Cluse rose gold watch and quite a few of you ask about this watch it is rose gold yes it's not the gold version however the rose gold on the Cluse watch is very, very subtle. It's not pink like a lot of other rose golds. And then, look, I've whipped out Faye. She's not been out in ages since I cleaned her up a little bit. So I've got Faye as my faithful steed for the day. And then jeans-wise, I have these H&M straight leg jeans. And these are the ones with the raw hem at the bottom. Again, these ones are old, so I'm going to link some alternatives from H&M because they all have a very, very similar fit. Shoe-wise, I have got the Jimmy Choo Romy court shoes on, and these are the 85mm heel. So they are very, very comfortable, very wearable for every day. And then, yeah, that is today's look makeup and face wise and hair wise rather not done anything i haven't even brushed it don't know why why is the mirror all the way up there i feel like when i come is it because i've got heels on i don't know it's very confusing but yeah outfit number one for the week oh hello right uh, it's Monday afternoon, I'm back home and I am just going to sit down with this beast and do some work. But as always with my What I Wore This Week videos, I also show you what I'm wearing when I'm slobbing out at home. So I have my E Varsity Initial Cashmere Sweater from Rails and it's awesome it's so soft I've been wearing this non-stop for like the last month um, and then these are some really old Topshop like distressed jogging bottoms and look at the knees I normally use these for cleaning that's not how they're designed it's just that I'm like kneeling on the floor hardcore cleaning and I've actually got my glasses on which I don't always wear and actually I don't need all of the time I literally have a very 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 small uh fault or deterioration in this eye and just over the last couple of days i noticed that i was getting a few more headaches um using the laptop because we've been a bit laptop and mac heavy over the last week trying to get everything done before we go away so they are from david clulo if anybody is interested i don't really know what the model name is but they're like round so yeah that's that Hello, it's Tuesday, so we have another outfit. Sorry, I completely forgot to show you what I was wearing this morning. It was my PJs, but 
I um, I got dressed too quickly, so I'll show you them this evening. But today I have on this outfit. So starting off with the coat, this is by Jigsaw. Uh, it's the one that you might have seen in my uh, lookbook video. It's very structured, very sort of minimal and very, very nicely tailored. And underneath I have on this camel cashmere sweater this is by marks and spencers um i buy their cashmere every year uh, i kind of like to collect all the different colors of the sweaters and the different necklines and i always upsize in their cashmere so i'm actually wearing a size 12 in this sweater i'll take my coat off in a minute just so that you can see how it fits and then i'm wearing these white jeans which have got a frayed hem and they're very very slightly cropped can't remember where they're from I think they're by frame yeah I think these ones are by frame um, and then I have my Topshop sock boots on oh hello losing my balance Topshop sock plop 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 say that 10 times fast my Topshop sock boots which have got a really manageable heel I wore those loads last week and then on to jewellery I've got a couple of new Cinco pieces here so this one is like a disc with a little rope detail which goes all the way around the edge and this one is like a medallion with the world a little world map on there is it double-sided yeah it's double-sided um so those are my new cinco pieces which i love very very much and then just to finish off my melly mellow dark knight bucket bag which has got gold hardware to match the gold jewelry oh do i have earrings in i think i just have my standard earrings in i'll twizzle it round because i never show you guys my earrings okay so yeah here i have um these studs these this one is a little star it's by misoma in the other ear i have a moon so they kind of like mix and match and then these little bobble teeny tiny hoops are actually from asos and they're really really reasonably priced actually i think they also come in silver as well if there's any of you girls out there who are silver fans but yeah that is my outfit oh i'll tell you what i was gonna do i was gonna take my bloody coat off wasn't i hang on a minute okie dokie so it is just the very very basic crew neck i'm gonna just pull it down so you guys can see how long it is and you can see how long the sleeves are and like I mentioned a minute ago I size up so I went for a size 12 so it's nice and oversized and slouchy and cozy which is exactly what cashmere should be and it's very very soft but yeah that is today's outfit good morning it's Wednesday I'm just having a brew and this is what I'm wearing I'm not actually going out I'm just in the house doing some work so I have my Vince cashmere chunky sweater on which I've tucked into these page jeans these are these Sarah straight jeans and then I've just got some fluffy socks on so yeah not, not a particularly um, interesting outfit for today but it is warm because it's pretty damn cold outside and Simon won't let me have the heating on all day so we had it on a bit this morning I think it comes on for an hour in the middle of the day and I'm just counting down the seconds until that hour I'm like when's the heating going on so yeah wearing my cashmere to keep toasty and warm I'm just sitting down doing some work and do you know what I've remembered you guys want me to show you how to do the whole tucking stuff into jeans thing don't you so right guys so i'm going to do the tucking in demonstration i'm not going to pull my trousers all the way down but basically you put your top on first rule number one then start sticking your jeans or trousers on pull them up and there's just basically a lot of faffing so you want to pull the t-shirt or jumper or whatever it is you've got on as far down as possible and even out any like of this any ruching so even that all out and then pull your jeans up do them up and then it's not so much the tucking in it's the untucking so this, this is what i do to untuck so that it makes it even <gasps> and stretch and then it untucks a little bit and then i just like untuck little areas 
and then yeah that's it i hope that's lived up to expectations because i feel like you were all like yeah we want to see your technique that's it just don't forget to because that untucks to like the perfect amount of movement that you need what did you just say about my tucking technique <laughs> Internet. Yeah. It was amazing. Yeah, thank you. Would you like to show us how you so tuck in? Tucking, right. That's it. Let's not what have what any flashing though, because you probably got right, no pants on. Right down. That's it. Like, Ooh, stretch. No, it didn't work. That's because you've not got the right outfit on. You don't go for baggy top. Uh, Good effort. <laughs> hey guys, it's now Thursday. So this is today's outfit. As you can see, the theme is very much black and brown. So I have this uh, sort of conquer coloured wool coat on from H&M. It's very oversized, um, but I love it. I love the colour. It's nice and warm and toasty. I've layered that over my Zara polo neck that I'm always wearing. Oh, update on this. I think I mentioned... Uh, not long ago that I was looking for a cashmere polo neck. I now have one, so oh, I don't have it yet, it's on its way, but just wanted to update you guys on that. And then jewellery wise, this is the little spinner necklace from Cinco. And moving down, oh, that was a special manoeuvre. We have the Gucci belt and these black straight leg jeans with that little stripe down the side from Jigsaw. The boots are Zara old. They're actually sock boots. So they come up to, sorry, <laughs> come up to here and they've got like this flared heel. Absolutely love them. They're one of like the only pairs of high street boots that I will not get rid of. And then Judith. And I've actually done something different with my hair today. So I washed it uh last night and then i thought i would leave it straight and just scraped back into like a little ponytail thing i feel almost like a little um like a horse rider like a jockey with my hair like that like i should have a little riding hat on i don't know maybe just me so yeah this is today's outfit hey so i'm back home i've just had a really nice shower i needed that i needed to kind of warm up and just relax and unwind so i'm all clean and showered now um and this is what i've just put on so this is an old well i say old i literally wore it a couple of times last season um but it is a past season is what i mean by old uh cashmere jumper by jaeger and it's got this big cow neck um but i've just got these awesome cashmere mix they're not 100 percent cashmere they're a cashmere mix jogging bottoms from next and i thought oh what can i wear with them because the matching top to these was sold out so i just got the joggers because i wanted something comfy for the flight when we go to canada nice and cozy still haven't got myself some slippers so i need to hunt for those and i think i need some cashmere socks as well i'm all about that cashmere life uh, so yeah, this is what I'm wearing. I'm going to go chill out with those guys over there because they look like they're having a great time. <laughs> Unlike my flowers, which are not having such a great time. Look at how I really love to milk having flowers in the house to the point where there are one, two, three, four, four petals left. Morning! Right, it's Friday. And look... Slippers! <laughs> wow! Careful, we've got hot tea. Yes, got myself some slippers yesterday. Now, these are from Next. They are real suede. They're like a mule style. Slip your feet in, nice and toasty. So, yeah, they're real suede, um, but the fur is, is faux fur, so it's not like real sheepskin. They were 20 quid. How much of a bargain is that? Real suede and they're so toasty. I love to have the ones that you can just like slip on and off for when I've got to go and change footwear swiftly. And yeah, so that's, that's those. Got them in a few colors actually because 
you know, got to match the outfits. Um, but anyway, I've just quickly got dressed this morning. So I'm wearing my Marks and Sparks cashmere sweater and my mango straight leg jeans and of course my new neck slippers and I've just got some bits to package up for the post office some invoices to do and some emails probably and yeah that's that's about it I'm just heading out to run some errands and I'm looking very bold look at how bold I am today that's a whole lot of red going on so today's outfit's quite casual <laughs> casual there's a lot of doggy toys um today's outfit is quite casual just very very basic uh, so i'm starting off with this kind of oversized bright red jumper knit sweater thing from h&m just untuck it so you guys can see how long it is up to about there but these jeans are quite high waisted so i just do like a little semi tuck up there and then blouse the rest over and I love this jumper because it's got these really cool like balloon sleeves awesome very cozy and then I have this Cinco necklace on I can't remember the name of this one but I'll link it below Gucci bag and as always when I wear my Gucci bag got my Gucci loafs on and then these jeans are the old ones from H&M but again they have come out with a similar pair this season so I will link those below and then I have my um, Zara cat's eye sunglasses on to give myself a bit of mystery and yeah that is today's outfit gonna run some errands go to the bank post office the usual kind of crud and yeah, I'll catch you guys later. Just can't wait to get into my comfies, to be honest with you. And I've only just got dressed. Morning, it's Saturday. And I'm not gonna go into too much detail about this outfit because it's the cashmere bits and bobs that you've seen before. So the uh, sweatpants, the cashmere mixed sweatpants from Next. The um, older, cashmere sweater from Jaeger but I have got on another new pair of my slippers these are like the mauve color oh my gosh they're so comfortable they make my feet look like I don't know some sort of creature by Jim Henson but I love them so yeah very much in my cozies this morning just uh doing you know grown-up stuff doing the washing and all that kind of jazz but I think we're going out later so I'll get changed and then show you guys my outfit then but happy Saturday right okay we have had some breakfast we've done a spot of cleaning and now I'm dressed and we're gonna go out and do a bit of shopping I feel like I'm always itching my nose that's because I've got Today I've got another reason because I've got this jumper on and it, it fluffs everywhere and it itches my nose. Anyway, what am I wearing? Well, I have on my camel and other stories coat with the belt. So awesome this coat guys. The other one that I was wearing, the um, like ochre yellow one, that's sold out so you've got to be quick if you want this one because stuff flies out super, super quick. Underneath something else and other stories this is a grey I think this is a mohair sweater now if you're a bit kind of knitwear intolerant this might be a bit itchy for you I wear a t-shirt underneath and I don't find it that itchy but obviously it is mohair so just bear that in mind then I've got my Dionysus on the Gucci Dionysus has come out to play and I haven't used this in ages so I thought yeah Let's take that bad boy out today. Jeans are the ASOS. Can't remember, I'll link them below. <laughs> Sauce. And then I have some leather Converse All Stars on. Look at how pearly white those are. Oh, new shoes. Do you remember that advert? Everyone in the US is probably like, I have no idea. It was Clark's. But yeah, anyway, that is today's sort of casual, slouchy, and warm outfit something's going on because they're all on high alert it's sunday hoorah right i've got new pjs i went on a bit of a pj spree yesterday because i don't know oh sorry i've got itchy here don't know about you guys but when i go away like on holiday or trip or whatever 
I like to have new PJs, it's just my thing. It's like for New Year, uh, no, not New Year's Eve, for Christmas Eve, you've got to always have new PJs. It just makes the whole thing feel, I don't know, more magical. So yeah, I've got new PJs. These are navy, <laughs> obviously, and they are from Next, and they're so soft. Now, I have to admit, even though I just said You've got to have new PJs on Christmas Eve. I don't like novelty PJs. I do not like pyjamas with animals stuck on, despite the fact that obviously I love animals. I like to be an adult when it comes to my nightwear. So I have a top, which is just very soft. It's stretchy, it's almost like a sweater. I'm trying not to focus on this bit too much because obviously I do not have a bra on and it's showing nipples and things um and then the trousers which have got like this little cord thing and yeah they're kind of like a jogging bottom so essentially it's like sleeping in a tracksuit awesome i couldn't think of anything better and then the slippers which are i think the ones that i was wearing yesterday the morvy colored ones bonjour no we are not in paris we are in south east london and i know looks like we're in paris right I fooled you. Yes, today I've got all of the Parisian vibes going on. So she wore a raspberry beret, apart from the fact that it was black. Black beret today. Uh, t-shirt, white t-shirt basic from ASOS. A couple of Cinco necklaces, the uh, pearly one. I think this is the Gone Rogue one. And then this is the little spinner one, which I think is called the Valerie. Then I have my next trench on, which I wear all the time. The straight leg black jeans are from Mango. Love these, very stretchy, nice and comfortable for eating. Bonus. And I haven't worn my little Aspinall small Lottie bag in ages, but because I'm wearing my June red ankle boots i thought let's matchy matchy this adding some pops of red i might even go and pop a bit of red lippy on in a minute but i'm not sure but yeah this is today's outfit and the final outfit of the week sad my outfits have come to an end so i hope you've enjoyed watching another what i wore this week video if you did please give it a thumbs up and then i know to make more of them for you guys in the future so this sunday's video is going to be the long-awaited q a that we've been promising you and then we've got loads and loads and loads of additional content coming up from when we go away now obviously we're going to go away on our awesome trip and our vlogs and all that kind of footage isn't going to be up until a couple of weeks afterwards so make sure you guys follow along on instagram stories to see what we're getting up to and of course you can see all of my canada slash usa road trip outfits on my instagram ahead of time and yeah we will see you guys next week bye <laughs> i feel like i'm on sesame street i'll see ya